please look down below this video if your subscribe button is red what are you thinking make it gray all the best people do and turn on your notification bell to know every time i post and don't forget to hit that like button for more mass effect content or maybe they just don't like humans What's not to like? Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. Oh. I mean, <laughs> us, <the> humans. <laughs> I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. Oh? I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. Oh. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Back off, Rex. This told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. Oh. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. If you have questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. They work for Fist. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Let's go. Okay, actually, let's look at the. Oh, Garrus. Hello. Turian agent to three. First aid to two. I'm thinking tactical armor to the boost. Assault rifles. He's actually a pretty good weapons person, I would say. So let's give him that. Uh, Caden has none. I have none. Freaking kidding. I only have five charm. Ah, dang it, dang it, dang it. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. Yes, I am. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Have we met? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job <laughs> makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the okay. Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need your help. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Can we make a deal? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Oh! What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Ter serves him right. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Not unless something huge was at stake. Something huge is I at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Rex. I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Let's go. Thanks for the info. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. Oh. You want bold. me to arrest you? I want you to try. Oh! <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. 
Hello. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist With knows you. you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Oh. But I'm probably just... Or should I do like these two again? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Rex and Garrus. We haven't had Garrus long, so let's let's. Oh, let's not accept. Accept. Okay, let's get his things. Let's give him good armor because he is a Krogan. Uh, warp barrier, Krogan battle master, very high. Okay. Garrus and Mir, good. Okay. Uh, say. Come into my Chelek. office. It's Chelek. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful. Sorry. I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. As part of the job. Now, are you gonna help me or not? You don't need her. I'll help you, but I need some details. Pathetic. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Um. Sounds Where can good. I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. Huh? You got my payment? Yeah. Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm, I'm taking you in, Jax. It's a sting! Bastard set us up! What the hell are you playing at? Just kidding. Here's your money, Jax. Sense of humor, huh? It's gonna get you killed one of these days, Army. Come on, boys. We're done here. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Of course. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. Thank you. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Thank you. Um, Rita? Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. No problem. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. They should be. Aren't you? I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> it does look like it's a done. Take oh! cover! There we go. All clear. Open the door. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Thank you, Garrus. Okay, 
right, hold on. We need a weapons locker. Oh. Hey, look at us getting stuff done. I surrender. Smart move. Where's the quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. Oh, really? He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. No. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. Oh. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Okay. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Yep. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't My know that. Like... I told her I'd set a meeting up. Oops, but when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Oh no. <laughs> we have to save her. Give me the location, now. Can I kill him? Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He surrendered. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. We do. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Oh, okay. Oh, ha Take. Yes. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Got what I needed. Let's go. On me! Yeah, I'm gonna take my time with this. I'll like never run out of time. Ever. We're all on the side of the road. If I just take my time. Good, good, good. All targets down. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Uh, don't don't the touch evidence? her. No way. The deal's off. Go tally. I knew I couldn't trust him. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. Okay. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. True. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. 
I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. It could be. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? Sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Whoa. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Oof. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. Mm -hmm. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Yes, we do. Let her, the Quarian. She should join us. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Good point. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. You could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Henderson and Tally. I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. I wish we could romance Take a few minutes to chat. collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, okay, okay. Sense. I already know what's coming. I want to bring the two humans. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait. The 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Of course. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Here we go. Eden Prime was a major victory. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Can you guys hear all that noise? And one step closer to the return of the Who's Reapers. Moving? What? You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Yes! I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? 
Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. No shitting. <laughs> Revered for their Jeez. wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Are you kidding me? Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about that? Thank you! Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Saren's bringing the them Geth back. believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? It's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. The Reapers are I tried real. to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient <laughs> lie words. to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. I've seen them. 50,000 yeah, years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren, if Saren finds, finds the, the conduit, conduit, it will, it will happen again. again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. That won't stop that him. He's not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. So you'll do nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It's happening! Sentinel ally. Wait, I'm not a sentinel. I'm Vanguard. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectre. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. Good to know. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any lead? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. We did it, guys! Congratulations, Commander. Thank you. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. Oh, You'll geez. get access to special <laughs> equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Okay. Anderson, come with me. I'll oh, need your help Spectre to set all this up. Hmm. 
Not even a thank you from the ambassador. I don't blame him. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Oh, Spectre bonus! Spectre training talent unlocked. Okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We finally became a Spectre, and we've proven that Saren is a traitor. So let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments below. What you think of Garrus as well. Uh, should we romance Caden and then Garrus and then decide in Mass Effect 3 who's our final romance, you know? What, what should we do? <laughs> what should we do? It's all up to you. Let me know. I want your guys' advice, please. There's also other romance options that we can pursue, such as Thane and Jacob, although Jacob's trash. Let's all admit that now. Uh, hmm. I, I, I can't think of anyone else besides Liara. Ever gonna meet Liara and she was also on the list. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Essentially, that's all I can remember. So, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure your subscribe button is gray. Please, not red, gray. And make sure your notification bell is turned on to know next time I post. And like this video for more amazing Mass Effect content. I'll see you guys in the next one.